Oh, what a happy Sunday, Monday, wow. Tuesday morning. That was there a good go. inspiration. I'm good just morning. Flick that off there. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? You know just what? to put things into context here, it's barely past nine in the morning. Just to past nine. <laughs> just to past the nine. <laughs> and what a better way to ease ourselves into the day than to start with some fabulous, expensive Gibson Les Pauls. Just Smell through it. our favourite guitar amplifiers yeah. and our favourite pedal boards. Yeah. Um, smell, of, smell it. Smell the. Uh, smell the. Smell it. <laughs> smell it. <laughs> that smells like. D I can't say that. <laughs> well, you can, but it might be weird. But before you go and smell, d please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. We would really appreciate that. And uh, uh, oh. every 10,000 new subscribers, we'll give something away to anyone who's been subscribed for the last ever long. And at a million, we'll give away a clone and uh, coffee marks and merch you can buy in the links below. What Whatever said. I said. So hey, I'm good today, see? You are. So yeah. this is um, the Les Paul Supreme. So now the Les Paul Supreme has been in the catalog many times in the past, but it hasn't been in the catalog for a while. Uh, and so this is, this is uh, Gibson's sort of 2023 uh, new interpretation of the Supreme. Mm -hmm. um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, YouTube viewers. They will. They will. Um, the last incarnation of the Supreme, I vaguely remember as being a an arched front and back flame top, kind of like, so you, you, your range would go okay, right, standard, right, right, right. custom, Supreme. These are just black on there. Um, so I kind of remember these before as having oh, like that's... a flame top back okay. as well as a flamed front. However, this new incarnation of the Supreme has a, a more traditional uh, flat back to it, mahogany back, uh, mm -hmm. a, a slightly um, contemporary yeah. neck carve up mm -hmm. here. Obviously all the bling on the front with the AAA flame top and the gold hardware. Locking tuners. Uh, ebony fretboard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Posh locking gold tuners, ebony fretboard and the, the sort of the, the split block inlay which sort of designates David. this as if you like the sort of David Inlay. No, hmm? Posh and David. <laughs> oh, it's a Posh Tunis and David Inlay. Wow. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, the David Beckham signature Donna Supreme <laughs> Les Paul. Uh, anyway, this is um, Ebony Fretboard split block inlay. So again, you sort of, you see this is, this sort of denotes, that was the word I was looking for, denotes Denote. this is like a top of the range Les Paul. Yeah, yeah. Lots going on down here, which I'm Too sure people will demonstrate in a minute. Yeah, I'll demonstrate. You um, tell me and I'll demonstrate. Okay, well, let me... Uh, well, you better, you you better put that. one so, back. But I, I actually wanted to ask you quickly, because, mm. uh, you know, I've watched... Uh, when you watch the film... Um, uh, not, it's not called One Direction. What's it called, the film with... Uh, with One Direction, in it? No, no, it's not One Direction. It's completely not that One Direction. <laughs> Um, it is the film... Harry Styles. No, there's no, no, nothing it's with just, Harry Styles. It's got, it's got a one and a direct, it's got something to no, do with directions. No, there, there's a in the basement. Oh, And um, they dance around. Oh, and, no, uh, come on. Um, see, Pulp what, Fiction. Pulp Fiction. One Direction, Pulp Fiction. It's almost course, the same word, just spelled a bit different. So, <laughs> Pulp Fiction. They're talking about the, the Supreme Burger. A McDonald's in America is called a Supreme, but in America it's called a Royale with cheese. So, I'm wondering... Will these be the Royale in, in France? In France, this will be the Les Paul Royale, Royale. with cheese. Just it could Royale. be. Right. I mean, I know that was a tangent, but it's a fun tangent. Now, I, one other thing to tell you about this. So this is um, oh. top of the range of the regular Nashville production. So okay. you, so above this, you would go into custom, custom shop. shop. So, so this, this is not is, a custom shop? No, this is like the best you can get. Wow. If you like, before you go into it custom It plays shop. beautifully. So price wise, these mm -hmm. are, you get a bit of change out of 4,000 pounds. Not Ouch. a lot of change, but a little Ouch. bit of change. Uh, here we go. Here is the spec. Gibson is excited to announce the return of the Les Paul Supreme with a refreshed, uh, like you, refreshed feature set. An authentic that's exactly well. like Refreshed you. feature set, that's me. <laughs> After a good night's sleep and some yoga in the morning. So it says here it's bound to overshadow everything else in sight. Bold claim. Apart from me, uh, I tell yeah. you that. So yes, it's modern. <laughs> it's got a modern vibe to it. it. it so does. as well as the uh, the things we've already talked about, we've got ultra modern weight relief. So that'll be a picture of that on screen yeah. now. It's like basically like a proper Swiss cheese body. Mm, like my. <laughs> we've got a mahogany neck ebony fretboard with a compound radius fretboard. Fret, did I say that right? Fretboard. Fet broad, I think I said. Fat broad. <laughs> Fat broad. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Let's do that bit again. Let's go. The contoured heel access, which I showed you. Um, yeah. A beautiful a mother of pearl adorned headstock. 
uh, actually first inspired uh, from a design in the 1940s. It right? looks a bit Art Deco-ish. Uh, no, we've bit. got a Gibson Burst Bucker Pro and a Burst Bucker Pro Plus pickup yeah. set uh, with push-pull coil taps on the volumes uh, and a phase where quick where phase, is it here? phase adjuster or phase reversal thing on one of them and a pure bypass switch yeah i think the, the pure bypass control. is the top and this is the face down here three beautiful finishes yeah and a beautiful hard case you know what it reminds me of a little bit it reminds me of the gretz pro line you know when gretz did yes. the when they when they do the locking tuner slightly slimmer neck and they do with the with the bixby it's the easy string through yeah. bixby and all that you get all those modern features that a pro player might have um, but I mean, it is light. I must admit, the neck, it feels really lovely to play. The neck is slim. I would say for a Les Paul, it feels a bit more like a one of those sort of standard Fender style. Neck. What do you think? It's like a it's like a modern it does, C, isn't it? It Feels slightly flatter and thinner, yeah. doesn't it? So yeah. like you know, a, like that. a slim you know slim sixties. I like a slim sixties. Not, yeah. not anything like a fifty nine or a fifty eight. No, absolutely. Like uh, but I love. We were talking about this. Mm. Um, the knots and they put nylon knots on their guitars. Apparently, this is a graph tech nut. Is it? Yes. Is which, it? Which is a, which is a compound material, so maybe it's you know a bit like nylon. Yeah, because I'm I'm I was I'm having uh, this whole thing about doing guitars and the knots and uh, I don't know I'm just into knots at the moment, and I feel like nylon knots and graph tech knots are just they just got more sing to them than a bone knot. It's more dense and more sort of just it's to the sound a little bit. And are you? Uh, I'm not a vegan. Are you, so I don't really care. Uh, are you an aluminium or an aluminium? Uh, aluminum. Okay, well, it's got an aluminum, aluminum Nashville no. tunematic bridge and uh, tail. I can't piece. say aluminum. aluminum. I say aluminum. Do you? Aluminium. Aluminium. aluminum. Aluminum. I mean, it's uh, aluminum. Oh, they spell it differently in America they as do. well. Yeah. So it is spelt aluminum as opposed to aluminium. Shh, 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 shh. Listen to this. <laughs> so ringy, wow. it rejected your plectrum. It did. Anyway, no no poker some... chip, so it's got that kind of again. It's, a, it's a very contemporary looking. It is. It we feels really nice. It. Um, this color's great. Wine, wine red. Uh, I've always loved that, like Oxblood wine red or whatever. Wine it red, is. fire burst, and translucent ebony burst. They Trans. are the only three colors. That looked like a Rorschach test. I will not tell you because then I'll be judged in the comment section more than I am already. <laughs> Let's have some tones. I'm in a little sister again, naughty boy. It's gonna take the no reverb. Pedals. Well, oh, now yeah, there's the no pedals. Yeah, but the compressor, it just, I don't use it for level. I had a reverb. Okay, let me go on the two uh, pickups together. It's, it's snappy and articulate. It's snappy. It's like snappy. my wife. <laughs> Uh, so here is the bridge. Wow. First, first Bucker Pro Plus is wound to be hotter. So neck pickup, sorry, bridge pickup will be hotter than the next pickup. Oh, plus. Because it's plus. Because you're plus plus. Yeah. It's America, everything's plus plus plus, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that, that sounds, sounds good. This is great. Let's split that. See, personally, I would. I just don't feel. So you're like going into the. Yes, I'm splitting that I'm just, pickup. Right? I just want to. What have we got here? Hang on a sec. It's a coil tap. Yeah. So rather than a. Split. Yeah, but even a tap on it. So you should. You should still get the hum cancelling, but yeah. with a with a sort of a thinner yeah, sound. So Maybe if you put like a bit more reverb on it and some compression and some delay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's more like that. Just I don't know, man. Between them? Yeah, so. It's 
very sort of nicely. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not I a know. fan. I'm not a fan. You know I'm not a fan. But maybe yeah. some people... We should just, if you've not seen videos, it's for, on the whole, Pete and I would prefer humbuckers to be humbuckers and single coiled pickups to be single Depends coils. Depends on what it is. Uh, but when you do take a humbucker and you split it or you coil tap it or whatever, you do get a sort of a interpretation of a single coil sound, but it's... You know, it's for you. It's it's there for somebody to use, and and it's some like a people, free extra, isn't it? Yeah, but and if you go, you know, the, you get more sort of uh, tonal experience and uh, exploration. <sighs> you might say, Jesus, it's it's morning. <laughs> My brain is like I can't handle it. <laughs> There's a lot coffee. going on. So that's the neck split. I can go yeah. into the middle, you I can, can split the neck or coil tap it or whatever. Then I like it. Then, so, then I'm not, then it's because I'm- you haven't split anything now, have you? Yeah. Oh no, no I haven't. <laughs> That's why I like it. I like this now. <laughs> what about both, I don't know. What about both of them, both split? Of them split together. A super quacky. Um, yeah, I'm not. Okay. We're really always into Whilst this kind of. So whilst you're on that middle position, and again, yep. feel free to put the coil tap I wherever you want back to. In, yep. Play around with this control here because what it's doing is it's flipping the wiring on the neck pickup. So um, in one position, both pickups will be wired essentially in the same direction, and then when you do this, it'll flip. The essentially a bit like the middle pickup on a strat is reverse okay. round. So yeah, when yeah, you yeah. use two together, you get that sort of people call it an out of phase sound. Love I the middle pickup. Strictly speaking, it is out of phase. But so it shouldn't. This shouldn't make a difference if you're either on the neck or the bridge pickup on their own. Okay. But, but using them together, uh -huh. it'll make a difference. Uh -huh. There's that quagit. Uh, you know, some say, would say Peter Green, and now of course it's uh, it's Kirk Hammett because he <laughs> used that all the time with his wah pedal. Uh, what do we do? Like blues. Good man, why would you have this anyway? Well, it's it's so it's interesting, isn't it? That tone, you, you can audibly hear the the fact that you've almost you can hear the cancellation, the yeah. two pickups almost working against each other yeah. rather than with each other to give you that thinner, quackier tone. Yeah, I mean, I don't who knows. I, I, you know what? It's, it, if you're not paying extra for it, fine. Because I would, you know, you've got the option of it. Yeah. And then it's great. You can use it for some stuff. Maybe you're sitting in the studio one day and go, I tell oh you my God, somebody, do, what, can you get the I tell you what I do time? like about this is the pots they've used are incredibly low friction. So, you know, like sometimes you're trying to pull the thing out and you can't get the... I know exactly you know what, what you're mean. talking about. These low are like friction. super, super easy to adjust. Unlike my... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... Uh, yeah. Before yeah, we move on one. to the last one, could we just hear what that um, reverse wiring thing does when you're using coil taps yes. as well? Yes, 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 yes. So here we go. Kind 
need to be on the middle yeah. position. Oh, I'm sorry. Otherwise, it did I should I flick it? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. Really easy to play, man. You know you. what? <laughs> that, you. Both coil taps on and the phase reverse thing yeah. was a real cocked wah kind it's of sound. Like... <laughs> right. Anyway, yeah. let's last, try the last one. The last one, one okay. is, is the true bypass switch. So really, this, straight through, right? Yeah. So the idea being, let's say you've got like a, a rhythm tone where you're on the neck pickup and you've got the volume and the tone back down a bit, so a slightly softer sound, mm -hmm. and you just want to be able to go very quickly to some sort of full bore boom. I don't know actually. What's we, it like? We'll have to test this. I don't know if it defaults to the bridge pickup as soon as you put that in, or if it stays wherever the setting the excitement is. Excitement of the day, man. Let's find out. So here, I'm jamming away. Yeah, go straight to that. So I think it, right deep, it just like straight to here. Yeah. Bypasses the switch. See, bypasses I like that. the the tone and volume controls. Yeah. It's a great guitar, so man. It's a really good I guitar. I kind of feel like again, this I'm faffing around. Sorry, this will be a, a quite quite a handy feature. I think if you're if you're not if you're a guitar player that doesn't really like pedals and you've just got like a crank tube amplifier, yeah, that's a good And you just that. basically want to get the most out of it. It's a handy little feature. Yeah, um, it's beautiful, man. I, it's there's there's it's something for someone out there, isn't it? Well, look, there's you nothing know? quite like a Les Paul with a bit of gain on it. So let's jam out with a gainier sound. Okay. Uh, do you want to try a different color one? No, I'll have okay, to stay with I'm this gonna, one. I'm going to try the gray one. Yeah. Um, match my personality yeah um and, and let's <laughs> we'll put links below uh, to where you can find these guitars and they're in stock uh so they are in stock. Uh, come down to anderson's give one a try or dive on over to the website where you can see individual photographs of these do you want to see the serial yeah. numbers maybe you want mm -hmm. the one from the video and this is uh two one three zero three zero three three five Two one five eight three zero zero six one. I can't, I can't see that. I need some light on it. <laughs> this one is two one two one three zero one four six. Bingo. Bingo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jinx, you owe me a coke. Hey.